Well, as you can probably imagine, working in the space industry is truly, wait for it, out of this world. <laughs> the projects and equipment are so complex that the engineers and astronauts must plan years in advance before launch date. Now, it seems like a world that's far out of our Delmarva galaxy, but just down the peninsula at Wallops Island, there's a team working every day exploring the unknown mysteries of the universe. And here to explain is Keith Kohler, a specialist with the Office of Communications at NASA Wallops Flight Facility. Thanks for joining us this Good afternoon. Good day. It, it really is. Every time you come in and talk about what's going on at Wallops, it really is exciting that this is just in our backyard. Well, it's something a little different every day. Yeah. That we do, so yeah. So we're right. talking about balloons, but we're not talking about party balloons, are not, we? This these is aren't a, party balloons. What right. kind of balloons are these? These are huge balloons. These are what we call scientific balloons. Um, so at launch, it's about as tall as Washington Monument. Once it gets to full inflation at about 30 miles up in the in the air. If you could put uh, Purdue Stadium inside of Really? Park. And so that's what huge. we're looking at right there? So right now we're looking at uh, right, a, a launch uh, that we did uh, last year, I think, in New Zealand. And so here's the balloon uh, going up. It's about, uh, the balloon itself was about 20 acres of film. Uh, so it's a plastic, uh, very similar to a sandwich bag. Mm -hmm. A little bit stronger, of course. <laughs> uh, but uh, then it will, will go up and it will carry the, the scientific instrument, which is about 5,000 pounds, or mm -hmm. about a small SUV. And it carry, carries it up to about 30 miles altitude. So what's the purpose of all of this? Well, this one, we're actually going to be doing a testing of the balloon system. Mm -hmm. uh, typical balloons fly about five days. Uh, and we're trying to de develop a balloon that will be able to, uh, that we can fly for as many as 100 days. Because uh, you have a lot of degrade, degradation of the properties from ultraviolet light, the temperature changes, things like that. So. We're trying to be able to get a science up there and be able to collect just as much science as they would on a satellite for a lot less cost. Now, when you say up there, how far is it going up? It's going to go up about 30 miles. Mm -hmm. And this time we're going to be carrying, for the main purpose of the flight that we're going to be doing, the super balloon pressure flight, is uh, we're going to be testing the balloon system itself. Okay. But we're also going to be carrying a uh, cosmic detector from the University of Chicago along with this, as I said, what we call a flight opportunity. So mm -hmm. they're going to hitch a ride. Oh, okay. Hitching <laughs> a ride on the world's largest uh, sandwich bag. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how does, uh, how does Wallops uh, fit into, the team you have fit into all of this? Well, we manage the balloon program for NASA. Mm -hmm. So all of the NASA balloons, we fly about 15 balloons a year at various sites. And right now we're getting ready to fly one out of New Zealand. Ah. And this is, uh, we're looking for 100 days, uh, possibly. So it's around the world flight. Uh, and we did one last year around the world, uh, not quite 100 days, mm -hmm. uh, but each year we're getting a little bit further along. Yeah, so what is your, I mean, what kind of success have you seen with these balloons? The first year we did it, in 2015, we did 46 days, and it uh, just about went around and uh, we landed it in Australia. Last year we uh, were able to launch the balloon uh, and it went around the world, uh, then it meandered a little bit in the, over the Pacific Ocean and we ended up bringing it down over Chile, uh, or in Chile. Mm -hmm. uh, so we hope to bring it down uh, somewhere uh, in the southern hemisphere, but uh, we'll see where it goes. But uh, we hope to get uh, um, you know, more, more days out of it. And we're at the whims of the winds. Mm -hmm. So there's no control systems with these balloons. So we have to look for winds at lower systems and then we're at launch. And then once it gets up there 110,000 feet, then we have to see where the winds take us. And But the goal is 100 days? 100 days is what we would have to get. Right. Okay, so you're testing the balloons. So when you, after you test the balloons, what will they ultimately do uh, for us? Well, once they will do for us is mm -hmm. that they will allow the scientists to be able to, to fly uh, experiments for a lot longer days than what we can with conventional balloons. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a balloon set up scheduled for 2019, I believe, in Antarctica. And so if you can fly in Antarctica for 100 days because you just go around the pole, uh, the winds take it around the pole, it's called a vortex. Mm -hmm. And so it allows that scientist on a stable platform because you only lose a couple thousand feet every day up and down. And so it allows them to fly on a very stable platform for 100 days collecting data. Now, you call them super pressure 
balloons. What does that mean? Super pressure means that it doesn't lose the pressure, and mm -hmm. that's the, the thing. With the, with the conventional balloon, uh, with day and night changes in, mm -hmm. in temperature, you tend to, at night you would drop down, and then in daytime it would heat back up, and you would go back up. With super pressure, it maintains the pressure the whole time, and allows it to stay at about 110,000 feet, so it's a very stable platform for the scientists. And I imagine it's a lot less expensive to build something like this than it would be a Maybe not. The expensive is is a, a yeah. It depends yeah. on the person, I guess. Yeah, for us, yeah. for for in the, in the space world, it's yeah, it's yeah. a lot less expensive than yeah. what it would cost to build a satellite and launch on a rocket. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's a lot less expensive to do this thing, and you get it back. So uh, that's the biggest part is you get that science experiment back. It comes down by parachute, lands on land. We go out and pick it up, and bring it back, and fly it another day. All right. So when is this mission launching? We don't know. You don't uh, know. <laughs> we, the window opened March, uh, or excuse me, yeah, uh, end of March, uh -huh. and uh, we're just waiting for the winds to set up. But uh, right now, it doesn't look like the winds are going to be good for us, at least in through Easter. So oh, okay. um, we're right now, we're hoping for next week. All right, well, keep us up to date. Okay, will do. And we will let everyone know. Thank you so much for all of that information good. on the super pressure balloon from NASA Wallops Island. And if you would like to read more about the mission as well as others, head to our website, delmarvalife.com.